Hello everyone, welcome to another video. To those who are new to my channel, welcome, my name is Paula. Here on my channel, I talk about perfumes and fragrances. I am in no way an expert about perfumes. I just love perfumes, I love collecting them, and I just want to share my love of perfumes to you guys. To my returning viewers and to my subscribers, welcome back. As always, I say this over and over again. Thank you, welcome back. It's nice to see you guys again, and thank you for the continued love and support. Today, I will be talking about a fragrance that I just recently got in my last haul for 2020, and I have been loving this one so much ever since I got it, and have been wanting to get this one for quite some time. This is Armov's La Femme. If you guys want to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep on watching. As always, before I start off my video, I would like to remind you guys that if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you like anything and everything about perfumes, then please consider subscribing. And when you do, don't forget to click the notification bell since it lets you know every time I put up a new content. And if you like today's video and all my other videos, please don't forget to click the like button and also leave some comments down in the comment section below. Okay, so Armas La Femme. I have been wanting to get this one for quite some time. I have seen this perfume being featured in a lot of different videos from a lot of um, content creators. I've seen this first, I think, from Sarah Mays, and I've also seen Emmy, I think, featured this one before and also Joss Jane. And when I wanted to get this perfume, I was actively searching on YouTube and I found Annalisa did a video on this one as well, Maria Colette, and a lot of other people. I have heard people talk about this one being a jammy scent and I expected it to be a little bit on the heavy side, a little bit on the syrupy side because of the bottle. But I was so surprised when I sprayed this one that it was the exact opposite. So when I first sprayed this, this was very light, very airy, but still very sweet and fruity. So first impressions on this one when I got it. I was so surprised. It was a very surprising scent because as I said, I, I expected this one to be on the heavier side, on the syrupier side, or the jammy side. I don't know why, maybe because of the bottle or because of the several reviews that I've seen about this one. But this one to me smelled very light, very airy, but still, as I said, very fruity. But I did mention also in my haul video that this one smelled like green apples to me. And up until now, it still does remind me of green apples. So as I said, this one is very light to my nose, very light, very airy, yet very sweet and very fruity. I did not like it in the beginning. I was like, I didn't like the synthetic kind of smell to it. It felt like I was smelling some sort of a household cleaner or a spray cleaner. I did mention that in my haul video. But I kept on wearing it and I love the dry down of this one because I don't get a lot of the like plasticky or synthetic kind of smell in the beginning because in the dry down it stays very much the same to my nose and how I smell it. It smells very much the same, very fruity and sweet but not as plasticky and not as synthetic in the dry down. But before I proceed to the notes and all of that, I just want to show you guys the bottle. I guess you already know how it looks like, but um, I'm not really very picky on packaging or bottles, but this one, it has a very heavy um, cap right here, and this one is plastic here at the bottom and at the top. I don't know if I got a bad bottle, but this one is just falling apart on me. Um, this one is like a leatherette kind of sleeve. And when I first got it, I was thinking like, no, this is so stressful because I can't see what's inside or how much I'm spraying. But you can take the sleeve out. I did find that out for the first two days I got this. Um, I'm going to try if we can get it out. Okay, you can take the sleeve and you can see the juice that's inside. So as you guys can see, I have been using this one quite a lot and I did put a big dent on it already. But I think also because this bottle, I think I got like a very wonky atomizer because it was leaking a lot and it still is. And just today, um, you can see that um, the gold part of this one is like kind of rubbing off the gold paint because of the fluid or the perfume that's leaking. And I was just so unlucky today because this thing just fell apart 
um, this part right here fell off and everything but you know I think this one can be screwed out and I can decant this one and transfer this on a different bottle but you know it doesn't matter I can just put it all back together and that's no problem at all I'm not really very picky on um, packaging anyway it doesn't really bother me that much so at least you know you can see what's inside if you can take the sleeve out that's for the packaging of this one just the um, downside to it this does peel off and it does leave you like some gold um, paint or some gold um, flakes in your skin but you know it doesn't matter I don't really care for it anyway so anyway for this it's just falling apart you guys so anyway for the scent this is floral fruity as described in the Fragrantica website. This is a floral fruity fragrance and I do get that. But honestly, I keep on smelling it and have been smelling it for the past days. I just get a green apple scent to this one. It's very sweet and fruity to me, but it's not cloying because it's not a heavy kind of sweet fragrance. It's very light. It's airy. I say light. I kind of felt like I needed to spray like a lot or spray heavy for this fragrance because I was thinking that maybe I wouldn't smell myself after a couple of hours. So I did go heavy on using this one. Maybe that explained the dent on the perfume. But this one doesn't really um, project that much on me. Um, I did check the Fragrantica website. I don't know if it's the bottle or maybe it's just a different formulation. I don't really know. But on there, it said this has a very heavy sillage, but I disagree because as based on my experience, this one is just a very soft to moderate sillage. I would say moderate when you first sprayed it and then it just becomes a very soft kind of scent. Stays very close to the skin, but it does stay quite a long time. I would say six hours on me. And in terms of longevity on the website, I don't know, maybe it's just the people that voted on the Fragrantica website. They said it's a very long lasting fragrance, but on me, it's just a moderate um, longevity kind of fragrance. Stayed six hours. It does stay quite longer on clothes. That's what I noticed um, but I really really like this fragrance I've been using it as you guys can see but um, yes I do just get green apples on this one so we're just gonna look up the notes on Fragrantica um, this one has your gardenia it has your orange it has your plum it also has your bergamot on top but honestly I don't know maybe it's just my nose my untrained nose but that's all the image I see green apples like sweet green apples so anyway it has that citrus in there it has the plum it has the bergamot it has the gardenia but if you really ask me honestly i don't pick up like a specific note or i don't smell those notes on top just maybe the sweet fruity like crisp entrance from those notes and in the middle it has your lily of the valley it has your jasmine it has your saffron and your rose and again i don't really get those notes not sure if it's the perfume or most probably it's just me because of course how we smell our perfumes and how they smell on our skin it's very subjective it's very personal and in the base it has your patchouli it has your musk your vanilla and also your woody notes but on the dry down on me as i mentioned this one stays pretty much the same the very sweet fruity or like the green apple scent but slightly um, softer milder not as synthetic not as loud but it stays pretty much the same I don't really get a lot of the woody notes or any of the other floral notes in there I do get a little bit of powderiness as it dries down because it dries down to this very soft fruity um, fluffy scent but I don't get the rest of the notes honestly in my opinion and how I experienced this one but do I love this? Yes, I do because when it comes to perfumes, I just smell the perfume and when I love it, I love the smell of it, I enjoy it. I don't really care like what notes are in there. But when I do try to review perfume, I try to pick up the notes and try to dissect the scent if I could. But but for this one, I just couldn't. I don't know, I can't pick up the notes. I can't pick up the rose. I can't pick up any jasmine. I don't pick up any like very strong citrus from the orange or the bergamot. As I said, I just smell green apples in this one. So I have been enjoying this as you guys can see, even though it's falling apart. But before I got this one, I got an idea from Maria Colette from one of her videos 
that she mentioned that you can layer this one with another beautiful fragrance that I love so much as well. And that is Jessica Simpson's Fancy. Uh, Maria Colette did also mention that she smelled just green apples on this one. I'm going to link her video down below. Um, it's very interesting because that's really what you get. If you guys own the La Femme by Armoff and you smell green apples, let me know down in the comment section because that's what I get and that's what she got as well. She said that you can layer Armoff's La Femme with Jessica Simpson's Fancy because you got the apple in here, the apple scent, and the caramel is in here. So when you mix them both, you do get caramelized apples. So when I heard that, I was like, yes, I love this one. I've been using it. It's like my go-to fragrance. I just had to stop myself using it because I have to use my other fragrances also. And I did spray both of them on this arm before I started filming the video. When I first tried the combo, when I got Armaf's La Femme, I had to try the combo immediately. And I did get that sort of caramelized apple kind of scent because this one is a different kind of sweet fragrance. It has your pear, it has your caramel. So when you pair both of them, you get caramelized apples. And I did get that, but I did not get like the gourmand kind of like caramelized apple as I imagined but it's a perfect combo very sweet combo i should warn you guys if you have both of them and you wanted to, to layer them and try this it is very very sweet i first mixed the two of them together i did get a little bit of the apple from armaf's la femme and a little bit of the sweetness from this one but when i sprayed the two of them together today i don't know if it's just my nose but i get most of the jessica simpson's fancy i think it would be a better option to spray this one first and then our mouse la femme after the dry down of this one because today i sprayed this one and then jessica simpson's fancy and of course this one is just all over the place this is just so loud it's so wide it's so strong it's so sweet so i think if you want to get the whole experience you have to spray this one first let it dry down and then top it off with our mouse la femme to get that caramelized apple kind of scent but on me when i did the combo when i first got this one in the dry down i just got most of the jessica simpson's fancy because this one just stays a lot longer compared to our moths la femme so it is a very interesting combo if you guys want to try it and you have both of them try it and then let me know if you get the caramelized apple but yes try the jessica simpson first let it dry down and spray this one this is already a very sweet fruity fragrance to me and this one is also sweet but i just love my sweet fragrances this one is like your very cozy um caramel fragrance and then this one is like a light airy apple fragrance in themselves very good fragrances so when you combine them together it's just like a whole other level so this is a combo that I learned from Maria Collette. So that's it for today's video. I just wanted to share my thoughts on Armov's La Femme. If you own this one, let me know down in the comment section. And if you smell green apples on this one as well, let me know also. So thank you guys for watching. As always, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you on the next one.